Okay, gonna do a video just showing the totally corrupt fruit that this new IFB cult produces. This is a uh, little Ben the Baptist here in this video. And just watch, watch just the bitterness that comes out of this guy. I mean, what the, these new IFB guys do is that they basically are, obviously we should hate wickedness, obviously we should hate sin, but they take it way too far. And, and they, when you start, when you start to mess around with bitterness and hate, it will consume you. And, and it's consuming this guy right here because he's messing around with it. Sorry, I just got, I was just doing some, some uh, lifting some furniture, so I'm kind of panting right now, but this guy is messing around with hate, and this Ben the Baptist, it's consuming him. And this is the fruit of this new IFB cult. They're filled with hate and filled with wrath towards anyone who doesn't agree with them or who exposes them. Very similar to the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Brian Dunlinger cult, you know? but. So I'm going to turn to some scripture right here. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11. The mouth of a righteous man is the well of life, but the but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. You're going to see nothing but violence come out of this uh, Ben the Baptist. You know, this little novice, this uh, child. I call him a child because he's a spiritual infant. He's not even saved, obviously, but he's a spiritual infant. And uh, he's, a you know, post-tribber. He's non-dispensational. I mean, ridiculous heresies, but... Let's play this. And just, again, watch just the envy and bitterness come out of this guy's mouth. We recently spoke with one of the leading spokespersons for the new IFB. He is not an official spokesperson, but he is very well known, and often has new IFB celebrity pastors on his podcasts. So in that sense, he is somewhat of a new IFB celebrity himself, and often speaks for the new IFB, whether on his podcast, in his blogs, or in new IFB videos. This was an interesting phone call to say the least. We will just let him speak for himself. For himself and the new IFB. Oh yeah, I just want to give a quick uh, viewer discretion warning. There's some uh, profanity, this uh, Ben the Baptist guy, he uses profanity. Uh, so just a viewer discretion, just a profanity warning. Uh, this is some pretty bad stuff, pretty wicked stuff he says. Watch this. Hey Ben, how's it going? Who is this? You know who it is. Did Anderson? Yeah, I know who it is. Did Anderson step down? Yeah, you're a disgusting. Listen to me. Listen to me. You shut up. Okay. You're a disgusting, filth. You're a piece of filth. You are a punk. You're a loser. You're a psychopath. Okay. That's who you are. Yeah, and you know what? I would hope. I would hope that God strikes you down right now. I've been praying imprecatory prayers against you. Have you really? And I hope you put this on YouTube. Go ahead. Go ahead and put this on YouTube, you disgusting piece of filth. You punk. Why don't you just kill yourself? Oh, Ben, you are terrible. You gotta love that. Why don't you just kill yourself? See, he's getting that from Anderson, Pope Anderson, because, you know, they, they basically say the sodomites should basically kill themselves, but you know, so encourage someone to kill themselves, basically. Yeah, you know, definitely filled with the Holy Spirit there, obviously. Um, again, what does the Bible say? I'm going to read that verse to you again. Proverbs 10, 11, The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but if violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. This uh, Ben the Baptist, new IV cultist, he is, his violence coming out of his mouth. You know? He, I mean, this is not just simply him having problems. This is satanic hatred coming out of this guy's mouth. And again, when you mess around with bitterness and hatred like he does, it will consume you. And it's consuming this Ben the Baptist cultist. So, continuing. Horrible. Boy, I... Gee, my Yeah, mate. go ahead and put this on YouTube. I don't give a crap. You are subhuman trash. You little punk. Psychopath. Making a bunch of... You, this, you upset. This is what you do. You upset over hating good people. You obsessed. By good people, he means his cult leader, Anderson, and the new IFB cult, which is uh, tearing itself apart. And, and not to mention the fact that Anderson is now disqualified from being a pastor because he's not ruling his house well. His, if you don't know what happened back in, over the summer, his kids were found out, or his, his two oldest sons, I think it was, were found out to have been sending very perverse, uh, disgusting messages to other teenagers or something along those lines. And uh, that, therefore, disqualifies Anderson. And you're going to see, he brings up the fact that, you know, when is Anderson going to step down? 
because the, one of the qualifications for a bishop is to have the basically be ruling their own house while having their children in all subjection. And Anderson proved he's not doing that. Because why would his two oldest sons, who should be the most mature out of all of them, uh, be sending these perverted messages? So he's not he's not having his children in all in all subjection and ruling his own house well. But of course, Ben the Baptist can't stand to hear his cult leader get bashed. And I was part of this new IFB cult for a while. Uh, ever since, like, say, 2017, I left I left in 2019, but the new IB call is tearing itself apart. You know, anyone who's still in anyone who's still in, I mean, I left, like, two years ago, but anyone who's still in it, um, the moment you disagree with Anderson, you know, you're going to get thrown out, and you're going to get called a heretic, and you're going to have little Ben the Baptist start railing on you, like the wicked little uh, cultist that he is. Overheating men of God. This is what your life revolves around. No, 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 you, no, Ben. Like I, I, I don't hate you nobody. You call people up. You harass people over the phone. You call people up. You get people fired from their jobs. Screw you. You disgusting rat. You there, degenerate scumbag. You there, talk. There is no evidence of that, Ben. Yes, there is, dumbass. Oh, we've got to let, let me rewind that. There is no evidence of that, Ben. Yes, there is, dumbass. I know all about you. Oh, oh, using profanity now. Oh, wow. You know, definitely of Holy Spirit filled, definitely, you know, of the Lord. Definitely. Again, this is the corrupt fruit of this new IB cult. They use profanity, they cuss, they swear. Totally wicked. You psychopath. You disgusting, reprobate piece of filth. I know all about you. Of course, you. calling him reprobate. Does Ben the Baptist, you know, cultist... He just calls anyone a reprobate who, who basically goes against Steve Anderson. You know, anyone who goes against Pope Stephen Anderson, you're going to have this little Ben the Baptist um, novice kid call you a reprobate. Ridiculous. Again, this is how all cults behave. Whether it be the Brian Dillinger cult or the Jack Kyle's cult or the Stephen Anderson cult, if you go against the leader, you're a lost person, you're wicked, you're a heretic. I mean, Brian Dillinger does the exact same thing. Brian Dillinger and his little idolaters. Uh, Aaron Deering. I mean, it's kind of funny. Aaron Deering is essentially the Denlingerite version of Ben the Baptist. Aaron Deering is equally as bitter and hateful as Ben the Baptist. It's funny how all these cults always have this one obscure person who's like this bitter and hateful person. I've noticed that. But Aaron Deering, uh, who is, again, basically the Denlingerite version of Ben the Baptist, um, is just so filled with hate, and he just viciously attacks anyone who goes against Pope Brian Denlinger. Ben the Baptist does the same thing. I was saying earlier one time how uh, it's, it's amazing, it's, it's kind of funny how Brian Dellinger goes after the new IFB cult when really both cults are equally, they have a lot in common. I mean, they call anyone lost who basically breaks fellowship or leaves or disagrees with Anderson. They are just viciously attack anyone who goes against them. You know, they lie, all this other stuff. It's funny how all cults have one thing in common, whether it be the Dellinger right cult or the new IFB cult. You know, very interesting. But... Yeah, using profanity. Gotta love that. You know, definitely, definitely um, of the Holy Spirit. You punk. I know all about you. Okay, did, well, did Anderson you're, you're step... Okay, what's... Well, listen to me. You're a mentally I hear, girl, I hear you, Ben. ...who sits in mommy's basement all day, calling a bunch of people and harassing them constantly. How do you even get their numbers, psychopath? Do what? I need to get the cops involved? Get a restraining order against you? Huh? Is that what I need to do? Ben, you are the one. You are the one. I find it ironic how Ben the Baptist um, is preaching behind a pulpit. This little little child, Ben the Baptist, he's behaving like a little child. Uh, is not even saved, first of all, but second of all, he's not even qualified to be just like Aaron Deering, not qualified to preach at all. So, just wanted to point that out. Oh, me stop out. it! You worshiper of Satan! You worshiper of Satan! You piece of anti-God, subhuman filth. Go to hell. He's, he's, he's a worshiper of Satan because he's exposing the new IFB cult. Again, it's funny that the Denlinger I stood the exact same thing. Oh, if you go, if you disagree and, and rebuke Pope Brian, you're lost. You're a devil. Again, all cults have the one have that same thing in common. If you disagree with the number one guy, you're a wicked person. Uh, that's just how it is. You're lost. You're unsaved. You know. I mean, the Catholic Church does the same thing. The Catholic Church. You go against the Pope, you're a heretic, you know, you're anathematized, you've had your salvation revoked. You know, all these cults have a lot in common with Roman Catholicism. Stop that! Go to hell! Okay, well, did Anderson step down? 
I hate you with perfect hatred. I hate you. Die. I hope God strikes you down. Well, Punk, you loser. What do you want? What are you calling me for, huh? I, I, I'm calling to ask you a question. I would seriously, if I saw you in real life, I'd elbow you in the face. What do you roll like? Again, this goes back to the thing of why Ben the Baptist is not qualified to preach. Because the Bible talks about pastors not supposed to be a brawler or a striker. You know? But this Ben, but he, but Ben the Baptist, he's called he's called to preach, isn't he? Yeah, just like Aaron Deere, not qualified at all to teach anyone. Wow. Yes, I would. Huh? What okay. do you want? What are you calling me for? Uh, did Anderson step down? What are you calling me for, scumbag? I asked you a question. I said, did Anderson step down? I'm not answering your stupid ass question. No, he didn't. Uh, again, using using profanity, but he brings up a good point. Did Anderson step down? Because Anderson's not qualified. You know, he's not ruling his house, and his kids are not in all subjection. Well, his two oldest sons. He's not qualified. So when is Anderson going to step down? It's a good question. But Ben the Baptist doesn't dare speak against the Pope. Why would I answer something retarded like that? I guess I just did. Oh yeah, I guess you did. What, no, what? he did. What are you? What are you a retarded? Why would he step down, retard? Okay. Oh, you got some pride issues, really, retard. Look at the pride just ooze out of this guy. Insanity again. The corrupt fruit of this new IFB cult. The moron, idiot, psychopath. You belong in an institution. You sit in mommy's basement all day, obsessing over coming up with. Things out of thin air, railing accusations against people, and you just... Uh, really? Is that not what you're doing right now? Railing? Hip hypocrite much? Use that garbage YouTube channel as a weapon to whack people over and over again with lies. He's, ex he's exposing your new IB cult. But it, it's somehow... Again, just like the Denlinger cult. Oh, anyone who goes against... You, you expose us? Oh, you're, you're a liar, you know. It never actually deals with the, with the videos made exposing them. Again, it's just funny how they're so similar to the Denlingerites. You know, the new IP and the Denlingerites, they go against each other. They're so similar. The Denlingerites will just dismiss anyone who makes videos exposing them as, oh, they're persecuting us. Persecution complex, like all cults have. Screw off, psycho. I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up murdering somebody. You remind me of a... I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up murdering somebody. Look at just the, the, just the murderous mentality this, this Ben the Baptist guy has. Wishing death upon him, saying he, he prays for the suicide, and you know I'm gonna elbow you in the face or something like that. You know, again, what a hypocrite! Psycho stalker, you are so disgusting. You are a rat. You're a degenerate little anti-God rat. Go ahead and put this on YouTube. I want everyone in your audience to know how much I hate you. Well, uh, Ben, I think it's obvious how much you hate me. We, we, we I mean, I don't need to put anything yeah, on exactly. YouTube you to confirm yourself? that. Yeah, look, I know you did. This is what you do. You call people, you harass them, and then you put it on YouTube. What? what uh, listen, I'll... Why, why don't we just bury the hatchet, Rats. Ben? I'll buy All you a round you of... No, I'll no, buy you a round anything. of chicken wings, Ben. All you do... Shut the hell up! What? Shut up! Again, using profanity. You know, shut the H up. Using hell as a... These new IP guys, they always do this. Use hell as a cuss word. You know? Hell was never used as a cuss word in the Bible. No, no, no one in the Bible said, you know, shut the H up or get the hell away from me or something like that. They just love using profanity. It's really weird. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you harassing good people. You harass my friends. You call people unsolicited. How do you get people's numbers? Is that how much of a mentally ill sociopath you are that you scour the internet looking for people's personal information to harass them? Is that how pathetic you are? That's how, that's how much of a deranged, mentally ill psychopath you are? That this is what you spend all day, every day doing? What's the point? I don't give a damn what you're asking for. Wow, wonderful. Again, using profanity. Wonderful, Holy Spirit-filled Christian right there. You know, what wonderful fruit comes from this new IFB uh, cult? Go to hell. That's my answer to every question you have. Go to here's, here's my scriptural answer, because notice this Ben the Baptist is not giving any scripture to back up what he's saying, because he can't, obviously. Uh, Luke chapter 9, here's a scripture that this uh, Ben the Baptist cultist apparently hasn't read. Luke chapter 9, verse, I think it's verse 51. Yes, verse 51. 
Luke chapter 9, verse 51. And it came to pass, when the time was come, that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? And what did Jesus say? Yeah, go right ahead, call down fire and kill them all. No, he didn't say that. Luke chapter 9, verse 55. But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And he went to another village. This uh, Ben the Baptist does not know what manner of spirit he is of. Continuing. Hell, you got that, scum? I got, got it. that, loser? Yes, you I got, got it. That? Do you feel better, That's my Ben? my answer. Go to hell. Do you feel better? That's my answer. God's going to destroy you. God is going to destroy you. You will go to the lowest part of hell. You will burn for eternity. That's my answer. Does that satisfy you, scumbag loser? Yes, Especially it does. deranged lunatic? Yep. Does that satisfy you? Yep. Go go take a blood pressure pill now, Ben, and uh, calm down. Oh, I'm perfectly calm. I love doing this. I love letting people like you have it. Oh, I'm Oh, he loves that. Again, just showing he's uh, got murder in his heart. The Bible says he's got murder in, murder in his heart. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you sure do. I'm, I'm, I love making sure you know very clearly what I feel about you. And how do you feel about Robert Tuttle? Gum. Wow. Same exact thing. You're all a bunch of deranged losers. You're deranged, psychopathic loser scum. You spend all day obsessing over hating people in this movement. It's so sick. You're a sick person. You're a twisted person with no conscience. Who the hell does this? Uh, the exact same thing could be said about you, Ben. Ben the Baptist. Benjamin Naim, or whatever your name is. Um, this guy is calling him. is very calm, very, very just trying to be calm. And this little Ben the Baptist kid is just losing it. I mean, he yeah, he should go take a blood pressure test or whatever. Those, you know, go, go check his blood pressure because he's, he's just out of his mind. Why are you calling me? What the hell is the point of calling me? You think I'm actually going to answer your retarded questions? Why do you call Jeff Uxler and harass him constantly? I seem to type of, You literally speak to people like you're a serial killer. I think you're a dangerous... <laughs> uh, um, says the guy who is wishing murder upon him and, and wishing he to get commit suicide and stuff. Like I was saying before, Ben the Baptist is just... You know, he doesn't know what manner of spirit he is of. Being, and let me tell you something right now. If you try to hurt me... You try to hurt my family, I will pull your brains out. You understand that, Tom? Wow. I will pull your brains out if you try to hurt me or hurt my family or hurt my wife or hurt anybody. Well, you, you are, Ben, you, you are, you're more God deranged than what I thought. It's not deranged to make it clear that if you hurt me, I will destroy you. you, have, well, you, you understand that, 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 Tom? That, that, that sounds like paranoia, Ben. Um, that's what it sounds I like you're suffering you. from. Making videos against my wife? Making ben, videos against ben, all my ben. friends, constantly harassing people, psychopaths. You try something. I dare you to try something. I dare you. Wow, uh, Ben. Once again, you know, there goes your there goes your paranoia right off the you, scale. Dumb, there goes dumb, your paranoia off the dumb, scale, Ben. Loser, punk, tough guy. What else do you have to say? That, that that's about it. That, any, anything else you want to get out? Yeah, hey, let me let me let me let me just tell you. Let me make something very clear. Go don't ahead. This Go ahead, Ben. I, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I want nothing to do with you. Sure. I think you're deranged. I think you're probably going to murder people in the future. Go on some sort of. I think you're probably going to murder somebody, Ben the Baptist. He's you got murder in your heart. Shooting spree. I think that you're you act and behave and communicate as a literally. You remind me of a serial killer, the way that you communicate with people, the text messages that you send people, the way that you stalk people. You are a deranged... Hey, John. Reprobate. God's going to destroy you and cast you into the lowest, deepest, hottest part of hell. Okay, do you feel... You got that? Yep. Do you feel better? Put that on YouTube. Okay. Do you feel better? Okay, you feel better. That's all you got? That's it. I'm asking you if you feel better, Ben. 
Bill Burger, Louisville, I'm, I call, my name is Ron. I call people and harass them and send them t text messages harassing them constantly. I scour the internet looking for people's contact information so I can then harass them and give them unsolicited phone calls and ask some stupid questions. Sensible, your YouTube channel is like so tiny, nobody cares about it. Nobody cares about you. You're pathetic. Yeah, and, you and your little new IFB call is getting smaller too. You know, funny. You're a loser. You are valueless. You are you are so valueless and such a piece of filth. Look at the, just look at the, I mean, with, this Ben the Baptist, you're dealing with a Pharisee here. But Ben the Baptist, he's a Pharisee. He just thinks he's so smug. Oh yeah, you're worthless, you know. He's got the mocking spirit of a Pharisee. That's what he is. You can read Luke chapter, let's go there, Luke chapter 18. This self-righteous little prideful hypocrite, Ben the Baptist. Luke chapter 18. Verses, I think it's verse, yeah, verse nine. And he spake, he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. <laughs> ben the Baptist. Two men went up, the, went up the, into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself: God, I thank thee that I am not, I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. You know, I'm a good person. Sorry. I'm a good person. I'm, I'm not like you. You're worthless. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up his, so much his, as his eyes on the heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And who is justified? Let's see. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Uh, this little Ben the Baptist, he's got a superiority complex. He's got a uh, prideful, hypocrite. He's just self-righteous, prideful little hypocrite, little Pharisee. That's all he is. He thinks, oh, you're worthless. He thinks he's better, basically, because he's part of the new IFB cult. Yeah. Nobody cares about you. This is why your life is defined by hating the new IFB, because you don't have a job. You don't do anything with your life. You're pathetic. You are subhuman trash. <sighs> no one cares about you. Okay. Okay, do you feel better now? Or are you done? For acknowledging it. Thanks for acknowledging that no one cares about you. I'm not acknowledging that nothing, Ben. I'm just letting you vent. That's all. Just hearing you out. No, I'm, I'm not. This isn't venting. This is me rebuking you for being a piece of trash. Uh, if you're rebuking him, you'd give a scripture. He hasn't given one verse of scripture yet. But I don't expect much from a self righteous Pharisee like Ben the Baptist. God hating reprobate. Yeah, that's why your life revolves around hating God's people. You are a reprobate. You worship Satan. Look, he's, he's, he's a reprobate because he exposed the new IFB. Gotta love that. They do that to everyone who just exposes their cult. Just like the Denlingerites will label you as a Catholic or a Jesuit for exposing their cult. All cults have to do that in common. They'll put this label on you if you go against them. Uh, what's it? Second, no. Yeah, Second Timothy chapter 2. Verses 21 to 20, verses 21 to 25, sorry, 20, not 21, sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses, sorry, yeah, 24 to 26, that's the one I was looking for, says, and a certain, and this is, you know, a good rebuke towards this Ben the Baptist, you know, clown, because he's not behaving how the servant of God is supposed to behave. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God preventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Ben the Baptist is not a servant of God, because he's not doing what a servant of God is supposed to do. I mean, obviously he's not saved, he's part of this, this uh, new IFB cult. But this just shows the corrupt fruit of this new IFB movement. Uh, produces just hateful, nasty uh, children like Ben the Baptist. So don't be deceived by this new IFB cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.